Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Blue Tails looking forward to their fourth game of the season. Again, their 3-0, first win against the Plainview Knights, then beating the Oceanside Surf, and then most recently on Memorial Day or the Memorial Day weekend, beating Team Force, Kirtland Air Force Base team. Your officials for tonight's game, Pat Dyer, Gil Zamora, and Leo Sines. Blue Tails in gray jerseys with blue trim on the shorts. Plainview Knights in black with red trim on the shorts and the top of their jerseys. The tip this evening will be with Dan Holyfield for the Blue Tails and then number 35, Q Hines. Ball is up. Tip is won by the Blue Tails. It goes to Marinia, pass to Holmes, and he stepped out of bounds. Ball will go back to the Plainview Knights. Perhaps some early game jitters with Marinia and Holmes. Ball is inbounded. It goes to number 35, Q Hines. PBA rules, 24 seconds shot clock, 10 minute quarters. Over to McGee, he's guarded by Williams. Over to LaVon Carter. Carter stops on a dime. Getting deep in the shot clock, seven seconds. Ball stolen away by the Blue Tails. That's Josh Holmes up to Marinia. He's in transition. Layup is up, it's good. Lamar Marinia with our first bucket of the game. Blue Tails lead 2-0. Hines pulls up. Deep three, no good. Down with the rebound is Holyfield over to Warfield. Josh Holmes in the corner now. Back to Warfield. Marinia. Blue Tails content, patient to run offense here. Warfield's going to pop a three. It's good. Lam Seth Warfield with the first three-pointer of the game. Blue Tails lead 5-0. Steal by Marinia. He finds Holyfield, almost put it down, gets his own rebound, and all, nope, no good. Devin Williams with the rebound, and he's fouled. I believe the foul is going to go on number 21, Brandon Wynn. That'll be his first personal. Blue Tails in a nice offensive rhythm to start out. We had a layup in transition by Lamar Marinia, a three-pointer by Seth Warfield, and Devin Williams will go to the line for two. First free throw is in and out, no good. Second free throw for Williams is good, so he splits the pair. It's 6-0 Blue Tails with 8.52 in the first quarter. Knights running offense here. Ball goes over to LeVon Carter. Near half court, he's guarded by Josh Holmes. Carter attacks the paint, jump stop, turn around, out to McGee. Deep in the clock now for the Knights. Two seconds on the shot clock, out of bounds, it's going to go back to the Blue Tails. Plainview Knights really struggling on the offensive end, have yet to put up a shot attempt. And the Blue Tails lead 6-0. I think we had an inadvertent whistle by the official, so we'll inbound again. Clean 24 second shot clock. Marinia will bring the ball up for the Blue Tails. He's guarded by number 35, Q Hines. Warfield in the corner, three is up. Off the back of the rim, ball was tipped. It's gonna stay with the Blue Tails. Eight fifteen left, first quarter. Blue Tails lead 6-0. Warfield catches it. Over to Holyfield, one dribble. Attacks baseline out to Holmes. Back to Marinia. Three is up. It's good. Lamar Marinia with five points knocks the triple down. Blue Tails lead 9-0. LaVon Carter with it now, guarded by Holmes. Plainview Knights really struggling on the offensive end. Williams with the ball pressure, gets the steal, puts it down. 
Devin Williams with the ferocious dunk in transition. And the Plainview Knights are going to need a timeout. With 7.40 to go, the Blue Tails lead the Plainview Knights 11-0. You're watching PBA's basketball. Whoa. Personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50-yard line. This is the Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin-safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful, yet gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not ticklish. Get yours at manscaped.com. No words? Welcome back, 740 first quarter, Blue Tails lead 11-0. We're coming out of a full timeout for the Plainview Knights. Q Hines bringing it up. Spin move by Hines, two spin moves. Blue Tails came out in a trap defense out of the timeout. There's Carter, trapped by Holmes and Williams. Deep in the clock, we're eight seconds left on the shot clock. Carter's gonna pull a deep three and it's good. LaVon Carter gets the Knights on the board. Blue Tails bring it down, there's Warfield. Devin Williams will pull a three off the back of the rim, no good, rebound Q Hines. Hines will push for the Knights. Hines out to Carter, another three is up. It's good. LaVon Carter with six points, back-to-back -back threes for the Knights, and it's 11-6 with 6.50 to go in the first quarter. Warfield now gets the screen from Holyfield. Over to Josh Holmes. Hand off to Marinia. Back to Holmes, three is up. Two strong, rebound Brandon Wynn for the Knights. Couple empty possessions for the Blue Tails out of that timeout. Knights on a 6-0 run. Hines attacks, left hand, it's good. Hugh Hines with his first bucket of the game. It's 11-8 Blue Tails, Knights are on an 8-0 run. Warfield pulls a three. Off the back of the rim. Devin Williams gets the offensive rebound. 14 second shot clock, it's stolen by Carter. Carter and Warfield in transition. Carter, scoop de doop layup, no good. Rebound Blue Tails. There's Josh Holmes in transition. He'll pull up for a jumper, it's good. We'll count the bucket, let's see the foul call. So Josh Holmes, with his first points of the game, he's gonna go to the free throw line for the old fashioned three point play. 
We're going to have a foul on the shot and a substitution here for the Plainview Knights. That's number 32, Braz Williams. I believe that's two personals on number 21, Brandon Wynn. Josh Holmes' free throw, it's good. So the Blue Tails stopped the bleeding on that possession. The Knights were on an 8-0 run. Josh Holmes with a three-point play there. Ball was tipped, stolen by Warfield. Up to Williams in transition. Blue Tails have numbers. Williams out to Marinia. Three is up, two short. Rebound number three, Ben McGee for the Knights. Q Hines now, the lefty. Pass out. That's number 11, Danny Scheffler. Scheffler guarded by Marinia. In and out dribble. Left-handed layup is up. It's good. Scheffler gets on the board there for the Plainview Knights. It's 14-10 with 5.20 to go in the first quarter. Marinia attacks, finds Holmes, back to Warfield. Pump fake. Warfield, two dribbles. Oh, almost got the layup in and out. Rebound LaVon Carter for the Knights. Carter's in transition now. Pass to McGee. Reverse layup. It's good. Offensive flow has really picked up for the Plainview Knights in the last couple minutes. They were down 11-0, took a timeout, and since then have been on a 12-3 run. Holyfield catches it at the elbow. Stolen away by Carter. Ball goes up to Hines. Williams will meet him in transition. Reverse layup, no good. The length of Devin Williams bothered that shot. And we're going to have a timeout. Timeout, New Mexico Blue Tails, called by head coach Brian Brown. Your score with 4.41 in the first quarter, 14 to 12, New Mexico Blue Tails. Our sponsors for tonight's game, we'd like to encourage you to contact State Farm and Wanda Lucero for your auto insurance needs. We'd also like to thank Mannheim Auto for their sponsorship and Lava Rock Brewery. Brewery. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back to the Facebook live stream on the New Mexico Blue Tails Facebook page. 4.41 in the first quarter. Blue Tails lead 14 to 12. Brief recap as to how we got here again. It was 11-0 New Mexico Blue Tails with about seven minutes in the first quarter. A timeout was taken by the Plainview Knights, and since then they've been on a 12-3 run. Substitutions for the Blue Tails. Number zero, Eric Benedict, has just checked into the game. Marinia will pop a three from the top of the key. It's good. Lamar Marinia with eight points now in this first quarter. Blue Tails lead 17-12. Scheffler with the ball on the left wing. Devontae Smith-Vines challenged the shot. Scheffler gets his own rebound. Layup is up. It's good. Danny Scheffler with back-to-back -back buckets for the Knights. He's got four points. Holmes' is three from the corner was too strong. Rebound Q Hines. Hines is guarded by Benedict. Hines attacks. Puts up a shot. It's good. Q Hines, four points in the ball game, chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Foul will go on number zero, Eric Benedict. Eric Benedict making his season debut for the New Mexico Blue Tails, coming off of a pro trip out of Iceland. Hines' free throw is good. He completes the three-point play. Hines with five points. We're all tied up, 17 all. Morania with it now, guarded by Scheffler. Pass to Benedict in the corner. Benedict. Shot was up. That's number 13. Cam Cauley knocks it down. Cam Cauley coming off of a big game against Team Force over Memorial Day weekend. Knocks down the three there. Three from McGee for the Knights. That's no good. Rebound Devontae Smith Vines. Eric Benedict will push in transition now for the Blue Tails. He attacks, floaters up off the backboard. It's good. Eric Benedict getting his first points of the game. Blue Tails lead 22-17, 3-19 first quarter. Q Hines attacks the basket. That's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to go on Eric Benedict. That's his second personal. Ball will be inbounded on the baseline by number 32, Braz Williams. He gets it into Hines. Hines, left hand, no good. Rebound Eric Benedict for the Blue Tails. No numbers for Benedict. He attacks anyway. Layups up. It's good. 
Nice minutes off the bench for Eric Benedict, again making his season debut. Blue Tails lead 24-17. Carter now guarded by Josh Holmes. Inside Braz Williams. Close to a three-second call. Carter's layup is up. It's good. LaVon Carter with eight points in the quarter. Blue Tails lead 24-19, 3-15 first quarter. Benedict will get the screen from Vines. Holmes at the top of the key, two dribbles, attacks the paint, layup is up, it's good. Josh Holmes with five points in the quarter. Blue Tails lead 26-19. Q Hines now the lefty has been effective for the Knights. He'll pull a deep three, it's good. Q Hines with eight points for the Plainview Knights. DeMonte Smith-Vines attacks the basket. He's fouled. I believe that's going to go on number 11. No, it's on number three, Ben McGee. Number three, ben McGee. Second personal for Ben McGee. DeMonte Smith-Vines will go to the free throw line for two. And waiting at... Yeah, what score do you have? Devontae Smith Vines' first free throw is good. Correction on the previous foul call, it went on number 32, Braz Williams, not number three, Ben McGee. And number 15, Seth Garcia, Albuquerque native, product of Sandia High School, has just checked into the game. Devontae Smith Vines gets both. Blue Tails lead 28-22. We're at the three minute mark here in the first quarter. Danny Scheffler cuts, guarded by Benedict. We're gonna have a travel call. Nice defense there by Eric Benedict, staying disciplined and not going for the reach. Under three minutes here in this first quarter. Over to Seth Garcia, back to Marinia. He'll pull a three. It's good. Lamar Marinia with his third triple of the first quarter. He's got 11 points. Blue Tails lead 31-22. Hines, another three. That one's short. Down with the rebound is Seth Garcia up to Marinia. Back to Marinia, another three for his fourth of the quarter. No good. Rebound LaVon Carter for the Plainview Knights. Carter, spin move. He finds Ben McGee. Layup was too strong. McGee gets his own rebound, and he scores. Ben McGee with four points in the game. Blue Tails lead 31-24 with two minutes left in the first quarter. Benedict now setting up the offense for the Blue Tails. Pass over to Marinia. Marinia, three dribbles. Pass out. That's Cam Cauley in the corner. Too strong. Ball goes to LaVon Carter for the Plainview Knights. Carter guarded by Seth Garcia. And number 12 for the Knights, that's Trill Lewis. Pulled up a three, it was too strong. Benedict now, he's attacked the paint vigorously and he's fouled. Foul's gonna go on number 35, Q Hines. Foul number 35, Hines. First personal for Hines. Third team foul for the Knights. PBA rules at five team fouls. The team is in the bonus. Benedict's free throw is good. Eric Benedict with five points for the Blue Tails. And Lamar Marinia is going to get a break with 133 left in the first quarter. Marinia with 11 points. Benedict's free throw is good. Eric Benedict gets both. Six points in the quarter for Benedict. Blue Tails lead 33-24, a minute 29 first quarter. That's Trill Williams. Devin Williams on the help. Trill jump stops, looking for a Plainview Knight to bail him out. He gets it out to Danny Scheffler, five on the shot clock. Scheffler spin move, shot is up. It's good. Danny Scheffler with six points in the game. Smith Vines, no one picked him up. Scheffler picks the foul. Devontae Smith Vines, the hoop and the harm. Danny 
First personal for Danny Scheffler. Devontae Smith-Vines with four points now and a chance to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Smith-Vines free throw no good. Under a minute now here at Bosky High School. Blue Tails lead by nine. Hines out to Trill Williams. Williams jump stops. He was bumped by Seth Garcia. Tough angle for the official on the baseline. Pretty good defense there by Seth Garcia. Trill Williams gets the bailout. First personal for Seth Garcia. Blue Tails have calmed down here in the later part of this first quarter. At one point, we were tied 17 all. And since then, three point shooting from Seth Warfield, Lamar Marinia, and aggressive takes by Eric Benedict off the bench have built this lead for the Blue Tails up to nine. Williams' first free throw, no good. Second free throw here for Trill Lewis. That one rims in, so he splits the pair. Blue Tails lead by eight, 45 seconds left, first quarter. Williams, fadeaway shot on the baseline. It's good. Devin Williams with that ferocious slam in transition got the Blue Tails going. He's got three points now in the quarter. Scheffler, trap defense. Williams all over him, poked away by Smith Vines. Ball's going to stay with the Blue Tails. 23.4 seconds, first quarter. Sideline out of bounds here for. LaVon Carter, 14 seconds left on the shot clock, 23 seconds left on the game clock. And there's a discussion here with the official, so no reset on the shot clock because there was not a shot attempt. Only 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Benedict guards Scheffler. Pop for Scheffler, shot is up, it's good. Danny Scheffler, eight points in the quarter, 15 seconds for the Blue Tails. Benedict attacks, scoop layup, a little bit of contact, no call. Under 10 seconds, LaVon Carter brings it up for the Knights. Pump fake by Carter, back to Hines. Under five seconds, stolen by Smith. Vines, shot is up. No good, and that's how the quarter will end. Smith Vines with maybe an extra second, didn't know it. Nevertheless, the Blue Tails lead 37-29 at the end of one. We'll be back with second quarter action shortly. Starts, no worries. About to start second quarter action here in this PBA matchup between the New Mexico Blue Tails and the Plainview Knights. Scoring leaders for the Blue Tails, Lamar Morenia, number 11, with 11 points and three threes. For the Plainview Knights, it was Danny Scheffler with eight. LaVon Carter, shot was up, in and out. Rebound Seth Garcia for the Blue Tails. Back to Morenia, pump fake, two dribbles. Back to Vines, shot is up. It's good. Devontae Smith binds all net from the corner. He's got five. Blue Tails lead 40 to 29. 
Cam Cauley guarding Scheffler very closely here. A lot of energy for the Blue Tails on the defensive end. Carter, that's going to be a backcourt violation. And a lot of that was caused by this aggressive defense that the Blue Tails are playing in the half court. Substitutions for the Blue Tails. Seth Warfield will check back in for Seth Garcia. Marinia now. Guarded by LaVon Carter. Ball goes inside to Williams. Guarded by Brandon Wynn. Williams attacks. Almost got the three-point play. Foul's going to go on number 21, Brandon Wynn. Second personal for Wynn. So a couple nights in foul trouble. Number 21, Brandon Wynn with two. And number 35, Q Hines with two. Williams at the line. First free throw is good. Devin Williams two for three at the line tonight with four points. Second free throw for Williams is good. Blue Tails 42-29 with 9-11 in the second quarter. Ball goes to LaVon Carter. He'll pull a three. Shot is up. In and out, no good. Rebound, Trill Lewis. Tried to put it back, no good. Blue Tails in transition now. That's Lamar Marinia. Step back three is up. Little too strong there. Rebound by Q Hines for the Knights. He gets it up to Scheffler. Back to Hines. He'll pull a three. Short. Rebound, LaVon Carter. Layup is up. He was fouled by Devontae Smith-Bynes. <laughs> LaVon Carter at the line for the Knights. He's got eight points. Shot is up. It's good. Substitutions for the Knights. Number three, Ben McGee will replace number 21, Brandon Wynn. And LaVon Carter will shoot the second of two. Off the back of the rim for Carter. Rebound Marinia. He gets it up to Cam Cauley. They forgot about Warfield in the corner. Pump fake. Shot is up. In and out. Rebound Devin Williams. Back to Cauley. Over to Vines. Another three. That one's off the back of the rim. They say it touched the wire on the top. And the ball will go back to the Plainview Knights. So somewhat stagnant scoring here in the first minute and a half of this second quarter. Carter. Inside to McGee. Trap defense there. He gets it back out to Scheffler. Three from the corner. It's good. Danny Scheffler with 11 points for the Plainview Knights. They're staying within striking distance down nine. Watch the battle between McGee and Williams on the inside. Cam Cauley's shot is no good. Rebound LaVon Carter. Carter. Almost a high dribble and a travel. Out to Trill Lewis for three. Off the back of the rim. Rebound Seth Warfield. Ball goes to Vines, back to Marinia. Give and go to Vines, and he's fouled. LaVon Carter will pick up the personal. First personal for Carter. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsors for bringing this game. Check out Wanda Lucero with State Farm for your auto insurance needs. Also like to thank Mannheim Auto and Lava Rock Brewery. Check them out on the west side of Albuquerque. Free throw for Devontae Smith-Vines is good. Devontae Smith-Vines with a unofficially five points here in this first half. Second free throw for Vines is no good off the front of the rim. Rebound, LaVon Carter. Hines will be guarded by Warfield. Step back for Hines. Shot is up. It's good. Hugh Hines has that tricky left hand, knocks down his second three of the game. He's got 11 points. Knights trail by seven. Marinia, inside pass to Williams, and he's fouled. Excellent execution on the offensive end by the New Mexico Blue Tails. That pick and roll with Marinia and Devin Williams is deadly. Williams' free throw off the back of the rim. 
Dan Holyfield checking back in for the New Mexico Blue Tails. Williams' second free throw is good, so he splits the pair. Devin Williams with five points in the game for the Blue Tails. They lead by eight. Q Hines, another three. This one off the back of the rim. Rebound, Warfield. Pass was a little too far in front of Lamar Marinia. Certainly not, shouldn't disrupt this offensive rhythm that the Blue Tails have developed here early in the second quarter. Substitutions for the Knights. Number 32, Braz Williams checks in and gets it up to Hines. Blue Tails here in a man-to-man -man defense. They've switched it up a little bit. They went into a trap out of a timeout, but so far have played pretty good defense in the half court. Braz Williams guarded by Devin Williams. That's Danny Scheffler. He drives baseline out to McGee. Three is up. It's good. Ben McGee with his first three of the game. He's got seven points, and the Knights have cut the lead to five. This is as close as they've been since it was tied, and we've got a three-second call. I believe that was number 22, Dan Holyfield, camping in the lane a little too long. Knights on a 5-0 run here, trying to chip away at this Blue Tails lead. Ball goes to Carter. Approaching 10 seconds on the shot clock here. Under 10. Williams picked his pocket. He's in transition now. And he's fouled. That was a pretty hard foul there by number 24, LaVon Carter. LaVon Carter, good sportsmanship, though. He was quick to pick Devin Williams up. Second personal for LaVon Carter. And Williams appears to be okay. Williams at the line now. First free throw is good. Blue Tails excited to have Devin Williams in the lineup making his season debut. Second free throw for Williams is good. So he gets both on that trip unofficially with seven points. There's LaVon Carter. Three is up. Two strong. Rebound Devin Williams. Williams stops his dribble over to Marinia. Warfield's three is good. Seth Warfield with his second three of the game extends the Blue Tails lead to double digits. They lead 49-39, 5.45 second quarter. Hines, fadeaway three. That one rimmed in. He got the friendly roll there. Q Hines, his third triple of the game. Cuts the lead back to seven. Holyfield out to Holmes, back to Williams. Nice move by Devin Williams. Crossover between the legs. No one saw that coming except him. Extends the lead back to Hines, or nine, excuse me. Hines, nice spin move there on Lamar Marinia. Williams came over and help was a little too late. Q Hines with 16 points for the Plainview Knights. He leads all scorers for the Knights. Hines' free throw too short, and the ball will go back to the Blue Tails. Offense is picked up here midway through the second quarter. Both teams in a nice offensive rhythm. Last score for the Blue Tails was a nice move by Devin Williams between the legs he got to the basket. Here we got Marinia guarded by Carter. Back to Williams, 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Blue Tails. Williams attacks, it's good. Old fashioned three point play again for Devin Williams. Devin Williams unofficially with 10 points here in this half for the Blue Tails. Williams' free throw goes in and out, but Seth Warfield, nice, nice offensive rebound, finds a cutting Williams. Ball was tipped, last touched by Devin Williams. Checking in for the Blue Tails, number seven, Jared Fuller. Out of Detroit, Michigan, College Trinidad State. Also with some ABA experience. 
Hugh Hines in the front court now for the, for the Knights. Pass inside, too strong there for Braz Williams. Blue Tails in transition, and that's a turnover. A little bit of a miscommunication there with Dan Holyfield, Seth Warfield, and Josh Holmes. Ball's going to be inbounded. That's Ben McGee. Q Hines will take the inbounds. Guarded by Jared Fuller. There's LaVon Carter. Back out to Scheffler. Scheffler pulls a deep three off the front of the rim. Fuller's going to grab the rebound and get it to Marinia. Under five minutes here. Blue Tails lead by nine. Warfield skip pass over to Holmes in the corner. Three is up. In and out. Rebound Jared Fuller. His shot is up and it's good. Nice minutes coming off the bench for Jared Fuller. The offensive rebound and the score. Blue Tails are back to a double digit lead, 55-44. Carter's three is up. That one's off the front of the rim. Rebound Fuller, lost it for a second, gets it back. And the ball goes to Warfield. Step back for Seth Warfield. It's no good. LaVon Carter ends up with it now for the Knights. He's in transition. No numbers, though. Ball goes to Hines. Three is up. No good. Rebound Seth Warfield. Approaching three and a half minutes here. Blue Tails lead by 11. Fuller's three is up. It's good. And one. He was fouled by Ben McGee. That's a point of emphasis at all levels, high school, college, and professional. You got to let the shooter land with two feet. He did it. And Jared Fuller with a chance for a four-point play. Fuller at the line now. Shot is up. In and out, no good. Rebound, Q Hines. Under 3.30 to go. Blue Tails lead by 14, 58, 44. Hines, pass was tipped. Warfield gets it up to Holmes. Holmes initially had the catch there, but it's going to be a turnover. Ball's going to go back to the Knights. Coach Brian Brown talking to the team, say we got to limit our turnovers. Braz Williams attacks. Some contact there, no call. Blue Tails with numbers. Marinia finger roll layup. It's good. Marinia was, has been quiet here in the second quarter, but he's got 13 points for the Blue Tails. They lead 60 to 44. Scheffler guarded by Warfield. That's LaVon Carter. Two dribbles. Pop up. Got the friendly roll here with these friendly rims at Bosque High School. LaVon Carter with 12 points for the Knights. One dribble for Warfield. Three is up. In and out. Rebound Brandon Wynn. Careless pass. Almost stolen away. That's Carter in transition for the Knights. Pass goes to Braz Williams. Out to Scheffler. Almost a turnover. Knights get it back. Under 10 seconds on the shot clock. That's Q Hines. He attacks. A little bit of a bailout call there for Q Hines. Dan Holyfield came over and helped. Looked like he was in pretty good position. They're going to get Warfield on the foul. Tough break there for the Blue Tails. Hines' is free throw. First free throw at the line. It's good. Q Hines with 17 points unofficially for the Plainview Knights. He's been the catalyst for their offense. Hines' second free throw is good, unofficially with 18 points for Q Hines. Warfield, nice attack. Warfield gets to the basket and scores. Quickly after that, there was a timeout taken by Coach Brian Brown. 2.16 left in the second quarter. We'll be back shortly. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. 
and give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Welcome back to Bosque High School. 2.16 left in the second quarter. Blue Tails lead 62-48. There was a bucket by Seth Warfield and a timeout taken by Blue Tails coach Brian Brown. Wanted to regroup the troops and finish this quarter strong. Some areas they want to clean up. Blue Tails with a couple turnovers unforced here in this second quarter. Message from Coach Brown is let's clean it up and let's finish this quarter strong. Scheffler into the front court for the Knights. Gets it over to Win. Back to Scheffler. Guarded by Jared Fuller. Marinia came over with help. That's Q Hines. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Hines is three. In and out. Rebound Dan Holyfield. Nice rebound there by Holyfield in traffic. Marinia back to Fuller. One dribble for Fuller. He attacks. Good defense there by Win. Fuller gets his own rebound and scores. Jared Fuller unofficially seven points in the ball game. Came in in the second quarter and has been effective for the Blue Tails. Steal by Marinia. Three on one for the Blue Tails. That's Warfield. Layup is up. It's good. Seth Warfield unofficially with 10 points for the Blue Tails. They lead 66 48. Largest lead of the game for the Blue Tails. Scheffler's three. Two short. Rebound Holyfield. Up to Fuller. Out to Holmes in the corner for three. Off the back of the rim, rebound Q Hines. Hines, floater, it's good. Q Hines unofficially with 20 points for the Knights. 66-50 with under a minute left. Warfield's three is good. Seth Warfield has really turned it on in the last three minutes of this quarter. He's got 13 points, seven of them coming in the last three minutes. Carter's three is up for the Knights. Off the back of the re rebound, Seth Warfield. Up to Josh Holmes. Holmes guarded by Carter, back to Warfield. Warfield was fouled by LaVon Carter. And I believe we're in the bonus now, so Josh Holmes is gonna shoot two free throws. Third personal for number 24, LaVon Carter who's got 11 points for the Plainview Knights. 27.1 seconds left. Blue Tails lead by 19. Holmes' free throw is good. Six points for Josh Holmes. Blue Tails have extended their lead to 20, biggest lead of the game. Second free throw for Holmes is good. He gets both to go. Blue Tails lead by 21, 26 seconds left. There's about a three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Scheffler trapped by the Blue Tails and we're gonna have a foul called. Looks like it's gonna go on number seven, Jared Fuller. No free throws for the Knights. They're not in the bonus yet, 16.7 seconds. And we're going to have a timeout called by head coach Brian Brown for the Blue Tails with 16.7 seconds. A lot of things to discuss. Again, 2.7 seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Shot clock resets here on the foul. We'll see if the Blue Tails can get another offensive possession before the end of the half. And again, and before going to halftime, we'd like to thank our sponsors for this game. Wanda Lucero from State Farm. Check her out for your auto insurance needs. Mannheim Auto, another sponsor for this game. 
and Lava Rock Brewery. Sideline inbounds here for the Plainview Knights. It's going to be inbounded by LaVon Carter. He gets it to Q Hines. 12 seconds on the shot clock. About a 2.7 seconds difference. Hines' shot is up. It's good. Q Hines unofficially with 23 points in the half for the Knights. Pass goes up to Warfield. Shot will count if it goes. It's no good. So at the end of the first half, New Mexico Blue Tails leads 71-53. We'll be back with second half action shortly. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What's up, man? What's up, What's up with you? Nothing, man. How you get it, man? Bring the military family inside. 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 I will fill out an application and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. That, it's kind of like they forced you to. Set up. Right? It's, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with your boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last All those ups and downs that you've been through, to look at you now, I am so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. Welcome back to Bosque High School for our second half of this PBA matchup between the New Mexico Blue Tails and the Plainview Knights. Blue Tails lead 71-53. Your leading scorers for the Blue Tails, Devin Williams with 14, Lamar Marinia with 13, Seth Warfield with 13. For the Plainview Knights, it was number 35, Q Hines, unofficially with 23 points, and number 11, Danny Scheffler with 12. We were all tied up 17-17 in the first quarter. Blue Tails pulled away. Then in the second quarter, the Knights got within five. And then about midway through the second, it was all Blue Tails. They lead by 18. Scheffler catches it here on the left side. Step through move by Scheffler off the backboard. It's good. Danny Scheffler now with 14 for the Plainview Knights. Gets the scoring started here in the third quarter. Screen for Holmes. Marinia off a pick from Williams. Back to Holmes, over to Warfield. Three is up, off the back of the rim. Rebound, Q Hines. Short turnaround for the Knights. They played on Thursday night. Q Hines' floater is good. Unofficially with 25 points is Q Hines. Marinia gets the screen from Williams. Win went for the steal. Pass by Marinia up to Williams. Power dribble. It's good. Devin Williams with 16 points now for the Blue Tails. 
The lead is still 16. Hines with it. Back to Carter, over to Scheffler. Quick three. Off the back of the rim, rebound Warfield over to Marinia. No numbers for Marinia, two on four. Holyfield meets him, gets the ball inside. Nice move there by Dan Holyfield. Keep, keeps his composure and scores. Dan Holyfield, first points of the game for the Blue Tails. Hines is three, too strong. Rebound Dan Holyfield. Gets it up to Holmes. Back to Warfield. He was fouled. That's going to be LaVon Carter's fourth personal foul. He disagrees with the foul call, but there was clearly contact as Warfield was going up for the three. It's all smiles for Warfield, who's going to the line for three free throws. LaVon Carter not too happy about the call. Warfield, first free throw. It's good. Warfield with 14 now for the Blue Tails. Second free throw for Warfield off the back of the rim, no good. I'd like to remind our viewers that next week the Blue Tails will be in San Diego taking on the Oceanside Surf on Saturday evening and on Sunday afternoon. Check us out on the live Facebook stream. Q Hines attacks the basket and he's fouled. Warfield raised his hand. And they do give it to Seth Warfield. First personal. Blue Tails with a comfortable 20-point lead with 8.06 here in the third quarter. Hines' free throw, no good. Second free throw for Hines. In and out. So Hines goes 0 for 2 on that trip. Design set play out of a free throw for the Blue Tails. Wasn't there that time. There's Devin Williams, crossover between his legs, layups up, too strong, rebound Brandon Wynn. Knights haven't been within single digits since midway through the second quarter. Blue Tails in firm control of this game. Scheffler's three, off the front of the rim. Holyfield skied for that rebound. They're gonna say last touch by the Blue Tails. Possession stays with Plainview. 77-57. Hines, the lefties, picked up by Williams. Out to Scheffler. 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Knights. LaVon Carter gets it on the handoff. He attacks the basket. Layup was up. Off the back of the rim, Carter wishes he had that one back. Ball was poked away by LaVon Carter, but the possession's going to stay with the Blue Tails. Braz Williams checks in for Brandon Wynn for the Knights. Pass goes back to Warfield. He's alone in the corner. Three is up. Off the back of the rim, rebound Williams for the Blue Tails. Shot clock will go to 14. Seven minutes on the game clock. Williams wants the ball in the post. Warfield instead has it at the top of the key. 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Blue Tails. Flare screen for Marinia. Three is up, in and out, rebound. Dan Holyfield almost put it down. That's Braz Williams in the corner. Excuse me, that was McGee. Rebound Braz Williams, and he scores. 77-59, Blue Tails lead, 6-30, third quarter. Josh Holmes' is free throw. And we're going to have a delay of game warning, it looks like, on the call. Assistant coach Nike McClure saying there should have been a foul call because he's got to let the shooter land and he can't hold him. 80 to 59, Blue Tails lead. Nice crossover there by Hines. Little too short on the floater. Marinia will bring it up for the Blue Tails. Nice pass inside to Holyfield. Excellent court awareness by Dan Holyfield. With the power dribble, he finds himself right underneath the rim, and he scores. Carter, guarded by Josh Holmes. Under six minutes here in the third quarter. Blue Tails lead by 23. Pass was a little too strong for Braz Williams. 
He's a little upset with himself. Ball's going to go back to the Blue Tails. Substitutions for the Knights. Number 12, Trill Lewis will replace number three, Ben McGee. Blue Tails trying to go 4-0 and on the season here. Marinia's layup too strong. Hines was out of bounds, tried to step inbounds, but had one foot still out of bounds, and the ball will go back to the Blue Tails. Lamar Marinia will inbound. Joining him on the floor is Cam Cauley, Devin Williams, Seth Warfield, and Josh Holmes. Cauley inside to Marinia. Out to Holmes, three in the corner. No good. Rebound, Q Hines. Hines attacks. Scoop layup, no good. Hines gets it out to Trill Lewis. He'll pull a three. It's good. Nice shot there by Trill Lewis. First points of the game. Plainview still trails by 20. Marinia attacks. Got his own rebound. Thought he got hit. So I think the confusion there was Plainview wanted to travel because Marinia caught his own shot, but official Pat Dyer says because it was a shot attempt, it's not a travel. Marinia believes he got fouled. It looked like there was a little bit of contact there. It's uncharacteristic for Marinia to shoot an air ball floater. Nonetheless, it's Plainview's ball approaching five minutes here, third quarter. 82-62. Scheffler attacks, goes into the body of Warfield, gets the contact, scores, and he's fouled. Danny Scheffler unofficially with 15 points in the game for the Plainview Knights. Him, Q Hines, and LaVon Carter have done most of the scoring for the Knights. Scheffler's free throw is good. Scheffler unofficially with 15. Number 21, Devontae Smith binds the Houston, Texas native is checked in for the Blue Tails. Also has Eric Benedict. Under five minutes here in this third quarter, Blue Tails lead by 17. Smith binds. Pass inside to Williams, a little too strong. Williams recovers and that length. Williams caught the ball on the baseline, took one dribble and a pro hop and he scored. Scheffler's shot is up. Rebound Devontae Smith-Vines up to Cam Cauley. Cauley guarded by Hines, hesitation dribble. He lost his balance and there's gonna be an offensive foul on Cam Cauley. 19 point lead for the Blue Tails. I believe they led by 17 at half. So they're winning this quarter by two. Under four and a half minutes here in the third quarter. Benedict guarding Tony Scheffler, or Danny Scheffler, excuse me. Out to Trill Lewis, deep three is up, hits good. Trill Lewis with two threes here in this third quarter, cuts the lead to 16 for the Knights. Benedict attacks. A little bit of contact there from Carter, no call. Nice job by Eric Benedict, eight points in this game off the bench for the Blue Tails. Shot by LaVon Carter, no good. Rebound was blocked by Devin Williams. Carter gets another offensive rebound and he scores. 86-70, 3.44 left, third quarter. Benedict sizes him up, goes into the body of Carter. It was swatted away. A little bit of words after the play by LaVon Carter. Eric Benedict thinks he got hit on the face there. It certainly looked like he did. No call. Benedict to inbound. Ball goes into Devin Williams. Over to Marinia. Quick three is up. He's fouled. Foul goes on number 12, Trill Lewis. Marinia is going to go to the line for three free throws. Marinia with 13 points in the first half for New Mexico. Free throw is up. That one's no good for Marinia. Second free throw for Marinia. 
out of three. This one's up. That one's in and out. So a little bit of stagnant offense for the Blue Tails. They had a nice take there by Devin Williams, who finished. But since then, it's been a little stagnant on the offensive side. Third free throw for Marinia is good. Third time's a charm. 87-70, Blue Tails, 3.30 left, third quarter. Hines gets the screen, pass inside to Scheffler, back out to Lewis. 12 seconds on the shot clock, goes into Williams, back out to Hines. Three is up. Two strong, rebound Devin Williams. Williams is going to go coast to coast here. Pass up to Hines, layup, it's good. Nice transition offense for the Blue Tails. That's what makes Devin Williams so deadly. He can get the rebound and bring the ball up the floor by himself. Nice find there for Devontae Smith-Bynes. Ball goes inside to Braz Williams into Hines. Quick shot up by Hines. Dangerous decision there by Hines, but he gets it to go. 89-72 Blue Tails. Hines with unofficially 29 points for the Knights. Williams, drop step move in the paint with the left hand, it's good. That is difficult to stop, is Devin Williams unofficially with 18 points in the game for the Blue Tails. Trill Lewis is three. Almost made it his third triple of the quarter. 91-72, 223 left, Blue Tails lead. Marinia, so quick inside the paint. Lamar Marinia unofficially with 16 points for the Blue Tails. 93-72, approaching two minutes. Hines, scoop layup, it's good. Q Hines unofficially with 31 now for the Knights. They trail by 19 with under two minutes in the third quarter. Benedict is guarded by Scheffler. He gets the screen from Williams, pick and roll. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to go on number 12, Trill Lewis. Second personal for Lewis. Devin Williams leads all scorers for New Mexico unofficially with 18. And what a season debut it has been for the former UNM Lobo. Free throw for Williams is good, unofficially with 19. Checking in for New Mexico, number 24, Cesar Moriel. Seeing his first action of the game. And I think that's what makes the Blue Tails so dangerous here in this PBA Southwest division. They're so deep at the guard position. They got guys that unfortunately don't get to play a ton that can come in and really be effective. Cesar Moriel is a good left-handed basketball player. Williams is free throw off the back of the rim. Rebound Devontae Smith-Bynes. Williams is going to pull a three. That one's too strong. Rebound Eric Benedict. Pass was too low for Cauley, but he handled it. Ball goes to Moriel. Pass to Benedict, to Colley, quick three in the corner, off the front of the rim, rebound LaVon Carter, a minute 33rd quarter, Blue Tails lead by 20. Carter attacks the basket, goes into the body of Vines, and he's fouled. Nice defense there by De Devontae Smith-Vines. LaVon Carter is going to go to the free throw line for two shots. And Carter unofficially with 11 points in this game. First free throw for Carter is good. Substitutions for the Blue Tails. Number seven, Jared Fuller has checked in. <clears throat> Carter's second free throw is good, so he gets both to go. Knights have played in this half. They haven't gotten closer than 16. Foul is going to go on number 11, Danny Scheffler. He fouled number 24, says out Moriel. Moriel still there on the floor. We hope he's okay. We're paused in game action here. Looks like we're going to take a timeout. Down on the floor is number 24, says out Moriel. From my view, it looks like. He's at least moving, and it looks like he's going to get up. Please stay off the court. Please stay off the court. 
Cezanne Moriel gives the thumbs up, says he's good. And it looks like we're going to resume game action. A minute 15, third quarter. Blue Tails lead 94-76. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. On the floor for New Mexico, number zero, Eric Benedict. Number seven, Jared Fuller. Number 13, Cam Colley. Number 24, Cezad Moriel. And number 21, Devontae Smith-Vines. Inbound for Eric Benedict. He gets it to Devontae Smith-Vines over to Moriel. Benedict, catch and shoot. Shot was too strong. Rebound Ben McGee for the Knights. He finds Q Hines approaching one minute now here in this third quarter. Hines is three. Off the front of the rim, rebound Eric Benedict for New Mexico. Numbers for the Blue Tails, that's Vines. He's gonna put it down. Devontae Smith-Vines got high on that dunk, elevated and extends New Mexico's lead, 96-76. Ball's on the floor, LeVon Carter ends up with it. We're gonna have a timeout called by the Plainview Knights. 30 second timeout. 96-76 with 41.8 seconds left in the third quarter. The Blue Tails lead. We'll be back shortly. You see, black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See? In continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather, to write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture, sharpen our skills until they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategize and analyze and advertise and sometimes just fantasize. See, 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective. One for all and all for one is the objective. You get the message. See, we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side. You know the vibe. You may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names. The level up is insane. The true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot. Welcome back to Bosky High School. Third quarter, 41.8 seconds. Blue Tails lead, 96-76. Ball is inbounded by Ben McGee. He gets it to Q Hines. Hines attacks on Fuller. Finger roll layup. It's good. And one. Foul's going to go on number 13, Cam Cauley. Q Hines unofficially with 33 points for the Plainview Knights. Free throw for Hines is up. It's good. The lead is 17 for the Knights. Moriel tried a baseball pass. It was tipped by Lewis. Ball will go back to New Mexico. Eric Benedict with it now. Guarded by Danny Scheffler. He's going to call for the screen from Fuller. He gets it. He's guarded by Ben McGee. Cam Cauley, quick three. No good. Rebound Devontae Smith-Vines. Vines back to Fuller. Baseline jumper. Too strong, rebound says Ad Moriel. Back to Benedict, 14 seconds left, that's Vines. Nice move by Vines and he's fouled. And Plainview Knights are in the, in the bonus here in the PBA rules. Foul goes on number 12, Trill Lewis. Vines is gonna go to the line for two free throws. Vines' free throw is good. Vines' second free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Danny Scheffler with it now, under 10 seconds for the Knights. He attacks, shot is up, blocked by Vines. Carter ends up with it, two seconds now. It'll count if it goes. 
No good, and that is how the third quarter will end with a thunderous block by Devontae Smith-Vines and an 18-point lead for the Blue Tails. We'll be back shortly with fourth quarter action. Welcome back to Bosque High School. Start of the fourth quarter, Blue Tails lead 97-79. Plainview Knights coming out in a 2-3 defense. On the floor for the Blue Tails, Moriel, Vines, Benedict, Fuller, and Holmes. Ball goes out to Moriel, he'll pull a three. It's up, it's good. Splash for Cezad Moriel, his first points of the game. Blue Tails lead by 21. Trill Lewis. Shot up, no good. Rebound says Ad Moriel. He's going to push in transition for the Blue Tails. Nice find there to Vines, who finds Fuller reverse layup. It's good. Jared Fuller unofficially with nine points in the game for the Blue Tails. Crossover move by Hines. Pass to Ben McGee. Phil Fuller jumped for the block, made contact with McGee on the layup. McGee with the chance for the old fashioned three point play. Blue Tails lead 102-81, 9-10 left in the game. McGee's free throw is good. 20-point lead for the Blue Tails, 9-07, fourth quarter. Fuller's three at the top of the key, that's good. Jared Fuller with back-to-back -back buckets for the Blue Tails. He's got 10 points. Hines, behind the back dribble, stops on a dime. Shot is up, that's good. Q Hines unofficially with 37 points for the Plainview Knights. He's been spectacular offensively. Fuller finds a cutting, says Ad Moriel. It's good. Nice execution on the offensive end for this second unit plus Josh Holmes for the Blue Tails. Stop on a dime for Carter. Shot is up. In and out, no good. Benedict wasn't on the same page with Devontae Smith-Vines. That's going to be a turnover. Ball will go back to Plainview. Strong start to the fourth quarter for the Blue Tails. They've pushed this lead to 23. Q Hines on the take. He scores, again, unofficially with 39 points. He's been very good offensively for the Knights. Fuller barrels his way in, lost the ball, goes to McGee, pass up to Hines. Layup is up, blocked by Vines. Vines rejects Hines, and the Blue Tails are in transition. There's Moriel for three, too short. Rebound Vines, he's fouled, and won. Devontae Smith-Vines has had some spectacular plays here in this second half. He had a block at the end of the third quarter. He had a dunk in transition at the end of the third quarter and gets an and one here. Substitutions for the Knights. Brandon Wynn will replace Ben McGee. Blue Tails lead by 23 with 7.49 left fourth quarter. Again, we'd like to remind you to check out the Blue Tails next game. It's going to be on the road in San Diego. They got a double header in San Diego on Saturday afternoon and, excuse me, Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon. Check them out. 
Hines guarded by Mordiel, attacks out to Lewis. Two dribbles for Trill Lewis, stripped by Mordiel. Josh Holmes, two on one. Vines is gonna give us another dunk. This time Vines puts it down with two hands and the Blue, Blue Tails lead 112-86 with 7.19 left. You gotta love it from, these, from the Blue Tails. They're up big here as this fourth quarter winds down, but they're still playing hard. Carter finds a cutting win. Interesting angle on that shot. Baseball pass up to Holmes, finger roll layup, it's good. Timeout is called by the Plainview Knights. 6.54 left, Blue Tails lead 114.86. Tour be lit, first of all, to even be on tour, you gotta be, you gotta be one of the, one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it, is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. Been to Boston, Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like fast and furious, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special and you see it and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this is the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people and it's fun. Welcome back to Bosque High School. 6.54 in fourth quarter. Blue Tails lead 114.86. Again, a strong start. Blue Tails only led by 17 at the third quarter break. Have pushed the lead out. There's v Hines. Rolled off the rim. Rebound by Devontae Smith Vines. Pass up in transition. Stolen by Q Hines. Almost stolen away by Jared Fuller. And this coaching staff for the Blue Tails, Coach Brown and Coach McClure, are still coaching these guys up hard, even though they're up 28. Scheffler, guarded by Warfield. Step back shot is up. Back of the rim. Ball is going to go to New Mexico. 6-28, fourth quarter. Cesar Moriel brings it up for the Blue Tails. He's guarded by Braz Williams. Moriel gonna get the screen from Jared Fuller. Was looking for Fuller on the roll. We're under 10 seconds on the shot clock. Warfield's three, it's good. Seth Warfield, unofficially with 17 in the game for the Blue Tails. That's Braz Williams on the attack. We're gonna have a foul in the backcourt that's gonna go on number 32, Braz Williams. Under six minutes here in this fourth quarter. Blue Tails lead by 31. Vines, step back shot, no good. Ball goes up to Q Hines. Hines, wasn't sure what to do, so he put the shot up. Knights get the offensive rebound, that's Scheffler for three, no good. Ball was rebounded by Brandon Wynn and he was fouled by Josh Holmes. Win at the line here to shoot two. Plainview Knights coming in one in three on the season. Knight wins free throw, no good. Substitution for the Blue Tails, Dan Holyfield and Devin Williams will check back in. Wins second free throw is no good. Rebound Dan Holyfield. He gets it to Marinia. Approaching five and a half minutes, Blue Tails lead by 31. 
Pass by Warfield. Over to Williams, approaching 10 seconds on the shot clock here for the Blue Tails. Williams step back, it's good. That's a three. Devin Williams with 24 points in the game for the Blue Tails. What a season debut it has been. Hines, three from the top of the key, no good. Rebound Seth Warfield. Warfield, there's a trap there. Gets it to Marinia, over to Holyfield, left-handed layup. Contact with win, no foul call. LaVon Carter brings it up for the Knights. Carter guarded by Holmes. Nice defense by Josh Holmes. Carter turns the corner, finds Brandon Wynn. Three is up off the front of the rim. Ball goes to Warfield. 440 left in the fourth quarter. Blue Tails lead by 34. That's Marinia for three. Two short, rebound Brandon Wynn. Four and a half minutes here. Scheffler, shot is up. Rebound Dan Holyfield. Devin Williams with 24. He gets it over to Warfield in the corner. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound Dan Holyfield, and he scores. Nice follow there by Dan Holyfield. Blue Tails lead 122-86. Q Hines, the high man for Plainview. Spin move by Hines. Substitutions, Trill Lewis will check in for Danny Scheffler. Ball was poked away by Williams. 3.59 fourth quarter, Blue Tails lead 122.86. Stolen away by Holmes. Trailed by Carter, he's fouled and won. Nice take there by Josh Holmes. Josh Holmes unofficially with 11 points in this game for the Blue Tails. Holmes. Free throws off the back of the rim. That's rebounded by Brandon Wynn up to Trill Lewis. Over to LaVon Carter now. Carter, step back shot is up. Too strong. Perhaps tired legs for the Plainview Knights. I was told by their head coach, Michael Boarding, that they played on Thursday night. Making the trip here to Albuquerque. Not sure if they left this morning. But that is somewhat of a quick turnaround. Braz Williams at the line now for the Knights. Free throw by Braz Williams is good. Lead is 124-87 with 340 left in the fourth quarter. Second free throw for Williams. That one's in and out. Rebound Lamar Marinia. Poked away, last touch by the Knights. Possession Blue Tails. Holyfield will inbound. Baseball pass for Marinia. No one was guarding Holmes. And he's almost put it down. Rebound Dan Holyfield. Out to Warfield. Three is up. That's good. Seth Warfield knocking the triple down for the Blue Tails. They lead by 40 with under three and a half left. Hines tried the crossover on Holmes. Not going to happen that time. Nice take by Josh Holmes. Elevated over Q Hines. Blue Tails lead by 42. Hines attacks on Holyfield. Too strong. <laughs> Substitutions for the New Mexico Blue Tails. Number 10, A.J. Adkins. Number 30, Cameron Eanes. Checking in, getting their first action of the game. Also, Seth Garcia, Cam Cauley, and Jared Fuller. Win inside, guarded by A.J. Adkins. A.J. Adkins was a heck of a player for the Deming Wildcats here in New Mexico back in 2005. Seth Garcia behind the back. 
Gets it over to Atkins. He pulls the three. He's fouled and one. Cold off the bench, A.J. Atkins comes in and knocks it down. Chance for the four-point play. <laughs> nice four-point play here for A.J. Atkins. Quick release, and he was fouled. Free throw. No good. Rebound, Braz Williams. Trill Lewis now brings it up for Plainview. He steps back. Tried to sell the foul there. Not going to get it. Trill Lewis with nine points in this game here for Plainview. Cam Colley with it now. Crossover on Braz Williams. Pulls a three. No good. Out of bounds. Ball is going to go back to Plainview. 218 here. Blue Tails are going to come out with a win here tonight and improve to 4-0 and on the season. Blue Tails playing in this PBA Southwest Division. Seth Garcia with the steal, the Albuquerque native. Finger roll layup, it's good. Blue Tails are running away with this one here tonight. They lead 134-90. to Trill Lewis, deep three, no good. Pass inside. We're going to have a foul. I don't know if that's going to go on Jared Fuller. No, it's going to go on number 30, Cameron Eanes. There's Q Hines in the corner. Puts up a floater. Fuller's going to bring it up in transition. No look pass to Cam Cauley. He finishes. 136-90 with a minute 30 left in the fourth quarter. Nice win in the new venue for the Blue Tails, at least for tonight's game, here at Bosque Prep High School, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, the Blue Tails will advance to 4-0 in the season in the PBA Southwest Division. Plainview Knights will fall to 1-4 on the season. And again, Blue Tails are traveling to San Diego, California next week for a doubleheader on Saturday and Sunday. Check that game out live on the Facebook stream on the New Mexico Blue Tails Facebook page. LaVon Carter's free throw is good. 136-91. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could work with Devin Williams. I heard you guys. Collie. Up to Garcia. Layup is up. It's good. Excuse me, the foul shot didn't go. Seth Garcia is going to go to the line for two free throws. A minute 14 here. First free throw for Garcia. No good. Nice job here by the Blue Tails coming out in the new venue. Head coach Brian Brown and assistant coach Nike McClure had the team ready to play. Excellent job by the ownership, the New Mexico Blue Tails, president and CEO Rob Gallegos, COO Chris Vega, who was also your cameraman this evening, and marketing manager Ken Jackson putting on a great product of pro basketball here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Win with the rebound, no good. Rebound Cam Cauley. He finds A.J. Atkins, another three. It's good. A.J. Atkins coming cold off the bench, knocking down two threes. He's got seven points here late in this fourth quarter. Q Hines, guarded by Fuller, step back shot. In and out, no good. Rebound Brandon Wynn over to Carter. <clears throat> We're going to have a two-shot foul here. It's going to go on A.J. Adkins. LaVon Carter is going to shoot two free throws. Free throw for Carter is good. 140 to 93. Blue Tails with a 47 point lead. And an improvement from the last two times these last time these two teams played. 
They played on May 7th. Blue Tails were victorious, I believe, either 134-100 or 128-100. They were down at halftime of that game. Head coach Brian Brown made some adjustments. They came out with the win. There was A.J. Adkins for three there. No good. We're winding down here in this game, under 20 seconds now. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go back to New Mexico. Excuse me. There's an out of bounds call by the baseline official, Pat Dyer, but a foul called on number 15, Seth Garcia. Carter's free throw is good. 140 to 95. Blue Tails look pretty good in all facets of the game this evening. They started the game out on an 11 0 run. Plainview answered early and they cut the lead to five in the second quarter, but since then it's been all New Mexico Blue Tails. Devin Williams was your leading scorer tonight for the Blue Tails with 24 points. Our player of the game, though, will be Devontae Smith Vines. We'll have an interview with him and head coach Brian Brown shortly. Yeah. 